damn it. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more Beam NG Drive. And in today's episode, we have a very special mod. This is the return of the Hell Jeep. And if you don't know what the Hell Jeep was, this was one of the first mods for Beam NG ever. And I've been waiting for its return forever. And somebody got the permission from the original person who made it named Mythbuster to bring it back into BeamNG and it is glorious. Now, I did make a video on this way back in the day. Uh, I think it was like a crash compilation or something. Here, I'll show a clip. So yeah, this was just a crazy, crazy good mod, especially for the time period that it came out. It was way ahead of its time. And I wish Mythbuster would make mod make mods, because he made like a few really awesome ones, and then he, I haven't really seen anything from him. So if you're watching this dude, we would love to have you back in the community. But this mod is absolutely amazing. It's not the fastest car in the world, and it doesn't control the best, but there's something about it that is just so, so fun to drive. It's just so bouncy. Like literally every, if I go over, if I go over these bumps in slow motion here, you'll see every little bit just bounces around, especially like so realistically exactly how you would expect a kind of G off-road Jeep piece like this to wobble. Like look at that, it's so, <laughs> I don't want to say cute, but it's just so cool. And the lights on this thing are especially bright. Jesus Christ, look at that, that's, <laughs> that's blinding. I actually want to see what it looks like at nighttime. Let's go ahead and switch it to night. Yeah, that is bright as hell. Okay, here's the regular lights. Oh, I, I never play this game in at nighttime. It's almost creepy looking, especially on the grid map because there's no sky. Just one little moon up there and we are flipping. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> but this thing is okay. You know, this, this thing is so tough, I bet it could take a cannon shot straight to the front of the car. You know what? We're going to do it. Fuck it. Let's shoot a cannon at the hell jeep. I think it's going to be nothing. Something weird about this Jeep, though, is it doesn't seem like it's the right size. It seems very small. I don't know. It could just be, <laughs> it could just be uh, that it is actually that size in real life. But uh, I don't really care because it's still cool, and we're gonna shoot this cannon at it at super slow motion. So here we go. Three, two, one, shoot! Here we go, and. <laughs> Oh shit. Okay, I didn't know I was gonna do that much damage. Can we still drive though? Yes, we can. Of course we can. And we are carrying a passenger now. Jesus Christ. Oh, it looks so goofy now. Oh God. Oh, we flipped it. Oh well, we should be able to flip it over and be just fine here. I wonder if the cannon is still attached to it. Yep, it is. Now just, what the hell? It looks like it has a set of testicles now or one ball. Oh no. Okay, get the cannonball out of here. What in the hell are you doing? There we go. <laughs> that works. So like I was saying, this thing is absolutely tough as nails as long as you don't really fuck up the tires. The tires can, can be fucked up pretty damn easily, but the rest of the thing is basically invincible. Or it's not, I mean, you can, it's obviously not invincible, but you can rough it up a bit and it will be just fine. Oh yeah. Went right through the mud like butter. Let's actually do that again with a brand new Jeep here. And here's the first person. So it, you got, as you can see, it is very well detailed. And there isn't a lot of cars in BeamNG that actually add like rust textures and stuff like that. And some of the cars in BeamNG are like really old, but they don't really have any rust textures. Some of them have like dirt and stuff, but it's very far and in between. So it is something special when you get a mod like this. And I'm so happy that it's back. And we can just plow through the mud like butter. And it makes me wish that this game had some sort of system where you could get mud on your car and deform the mud. Kind of like in the uh, game Spin Tires, if you know what that is. All right, let's do a sick jump here, boys. Uh-oh. If we can get it straight, here we go. Yes! Into the stratosphere. And we are going to land pretty damn hard here. Uh-oh. Can we survive, though? Oh, we broke its back. But I think it should be a-okay, as long as the middle section of the Jeep is not going to be touching the ground when we flip this bitch over. Come on, come on. Flip. Yeah. Come on, flip over, you bastard. Come on. 
There we go. We do have a slight problem here. We did break the front axle, but the thing still drives. We can't really turn it, but it is still driving. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, well, I think it might be done. Anyway, I think we need to take this to the car jump arena, of course. I don't know, there's just something so nostalgic about driving th this again. I literally have not driven this vehicle since 2013, <laughs> which is crazy. And Beam and G is that old. Can you guys believe it's that old? And you guys still love, love me posting this shit, and the game is fucking four years old. I can't believe it. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Down the car jump arena, and this thing, again, is not the fastest vehicle in the world, so it's not exactly probably going to go very far, but I think the suspension on here is tough enough that we should have no problem problems at all surviving. Oh yeah, look at that! Let's get some slow motion. Uh oh Let's try to land perfectly straight here. Oh, yes! Beautiful! Could not have gone any better. Oh god. We broke both the tires. Oh no! Oh shit. You know, I'm pretty sure this car was used in some of the promotional material to kind of show off. They were they were like really impressed with the uh, the tire physics and how it actually deform when you're driving over, over stuff. I think this car was used as some of the promo stuff, which is really cool and we completely fucked this thing up. Oh my god, that front axle is just gone. And we landed perfectly though, I want to try that again. Alright, we can do this, come on. Perfect. Oh, we almost made it to damn near 300 and we landed perfectly that time. Okay, don't spin out. Don't blow it here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, we got a nice little bounce there. And uh, damn it, we were so close to landing it safely. But I'm not even sure this thing has seat belts. So if there is, or if there was a person in here, they're probably somewhere around the pool now. God damn it, I want to land this. Nope, 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 <laughs> God damn it. Oh, we almost made it. Oh, we did make it into the pool. Look how flat this thing is now. And what the hell are these things back here? Those, uh, those, like, barrel things. I guess they're water or fuel, one of the two. The guy who made this mod, by the way, made an amazing Cadillac mod right at the beginning of Beam and G's history. Now, it still holds up. I don't know if it still actually works in Beam and G, but if it did, it would still hold up because it was it was pretty amazing. I made videos on that thing too, so whoever whoever brought this mod back to life should definitely work on that one next. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, we landed it, bros. <laughs> bros. We landed it, look at that. You know, with minimal damage, this thing still works, of course. We are driving into the water, which is not good. Oh god, can we back up? All right, let's get the hell out of here. It looks like this thing is crawling now. It's army crawling. But yes, we successfully landed without flipping over, so I'm happy. So I think it's time to actually take this thing to where it was born to be on the off-road. Doesn't this thing just look so at home here in the deserts of Utah? Yes, it does. All right, so where should we go to do a little bit of off-roading? Um, probably not up here. I think if we try to go down here, we are going to end up pretty fucked up. Oh, shit. Oh, it's an easy way to get to the bottom, though, so there's that. Oh, God. It doesn't actually look like we've broken anything, though. Well, okay, well, obviously we have. But, oh, fucking hell. I think we made it down mostly in one piece, though. That's pretty impressive. But something you'll notice right off the bat when you download this mod is that it, it, it kind of controls a lot differently than most of the cars in BMG. The only one I can kind of compare it to would be the uh, D-Series Pig. Just because they're both kind of like off-roady, but this one has so much weight to it that it truly feels like you're driving a really, really old uh, Baja Jeep type thing. And that's 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 if that's what he was going for, he nailed it. And I think that's what he was going for. All right, let's stretch this thing's legs. Here we go. Oh, this just feels so natural. I'm so glad that this ma this mod is back and working in BeamNG. You're doing God's work, man. Whoever whoever like remade this for the modern engine is amazing. And oh god, we probably should have turned there. Oh shit. <laughs> well, there goes our back axle. Damn it. Let's get a little first person. I feel so tall driving this because my head is way, way over the uh, the uh, wind sh the windscreen there, I guess if you can call it. There's no glass there, but we're going to call it that anyway. But uh, yeah, apparently these things like came in boxes when you uh, 
got them shipped to you during the war and you just kind of put them together like a Lego set, which is pretty cool. Today I learned, or today you learned, if you didn't already know that. But anyway, <laughs> we're taking this thing off-road and it's having no problems whatsoever. Let's actually get a good shot of the suspension on this thing because it is especially beautiful to look at, especially on some terrain like this. There we go, a nice upskirt right there. <laughs> Oh, look at it. It's so beautiful. That's one thing that this game got right. I mean, it got a lot of things right, but I think the thing it got the most right was the suspension physics. Look at those. They're just, that's beautiful. Like, you could post that on suspension porn, and it would get, get go viral, probably. All right, so I should probably look to see where I'm going so I don't end up going off a cliff. So where do we want to go? We have the whole world... And we can do whatever we want in this thing. Let's just take a nice leisurely drive down this desert road here. Oh, it's so peaceful. Oh, let's go down by the river. Down by the river, anyway. Yeah, this vehicle isn't the fastest, but it does feel pretty damn satisfying when you can finally get it up to speed. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Uh, warning. Do not turn too sharply while going fast or you will flip over. Just note to self. <laughs> I feel like I should be listening to some Credence while driving this thing. Oh, we got some air. It just feels right. I wish I totally would, too, if I could not get copyrighted. And oh, God, that's a tree. We should be okay, though. Uh, uh, yes. Beautiful. It's just a dent, and we fucking messed up our mirror, but that's about it. And through the river. Beautiful. Oh, this thing is just a, just a, just a joy to drive. I highly, highly recommend you guys check this out. And as we drive into the sunset, wait. Ah, uh, well, this is the closest uh, Beam and G can get to a sunset. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video here as we drive into the sunset. This is an absolute legendary mod, and I'm so glad that it has been remastered and is working in current Beam and Gs. And I hope that other older mods like the Belez and the B25 Mitchell can get the same treatment treatment that this car has gotten, because that. It would just be amazing. Some of the best mods for BMG came out right at its infancy. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya!